Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here. Uh, today we're doing a Jira tutorial and in this tutorial I will explain you how to clean up your Kanban done column. I know there can be, if the project is very big, there can be a lot of different stories and tasks and bugs in your done column and sometimes it gets very frustrating. So today we're gonna look at how by default we can limit the done column to let's say uh, stories and issues that were uh, resolved maybe only two days ago and they're very new and then they will also disappear as time goes on. If you are happy with that, let's go and just do it. So first of all, here's my Kanban board. I have two issues, they were resolved a couple days ago. I have one more that I will put into a done column and I just put it there. So I personally want this last one to stay here because I want to see the new issues that were done, but I don't want to see the older issues. So I need those two issues to be gone from this board. So to do that, we need to go to a default board filter. And whenever we deal with boards, we go to a board settings. So we click on three dots. We go to a board settings. And here I have my filter, saved filter. So this is the main filter for my Kanban board. I click edit filter query. All right, and now we see the uh, filter interface. I usually try to ignore it and go right to advanced because most of the things I need in the advanced. So I recommend you do the same. It's a little bit of query language, but it should be very easy for you. So please don't worry about it. It will be okay. So whatever this says is that my project is key DA which is uh, code for my project and we order everything by rank ascending. So even if you wanna change how you order stuff by rank, you can just change this to descending or do anything at all and it will change how you filter. But for now, we also, we don't wanna show any issues that are in the status done that were resolved longer than one day, let's say. So let's just do it. First of all, we go and say, okay, we're still okay with project equals key, KDA, but we also need something else. So to do that, we put end. And as you might see, we have some clues coming here. So it's very easy to use. We also need to do end not because we don't want to show certain things. So we do end not. And we have two conditions. One would be the status is done. And the other would be that resolution date is, uh, uh, more than two days or one day, let's say one day. So to do multiple things at the same time in math, we know we use brackets, so we do the same thing here. And now we have say status equals, remember this is not, so status equal done, say done like this, and resolution date is more, and then here we need to say minus one day. So this is highlighted because uh, my grandma uh, check doesn't like it, but it seems to be fine. So project equals KDA, so the right project and not status equal done and resolution day is more than one day. So let's try that. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but to do that, we just need to click uh, enter and see what is gonna give us. So right now, I think it is correct. Uh, it gives me uh, two issues. So let's see if this is right or wrong. Uh, for this, I need to click save. Go open my Kanban board, the new tab. Okay, something definitely went wrong because the only thing that disappeared uh, was our new issue. So two other issues are here. So I think what we missed it is we either need to say this is less than one day and it's all the experimentation. So yes, correct is resolution date is less than one day because we want to see the newest issues. So see, I made mistakes as well. And uh, this way, if you save it, if we refresh our new tab, Oh, it's did it automatically. Don't need to refresh. So we only see the latest issues. If I will create a new issue, and 
and then if I'll drag it to done, it still stays here. But as soon as time passes, it'll be tomorrow, uh, those issues won't be here anymore. And of course, if you don't like one day, you can change it to seven days and this will be your week. You can change to one week and stuff like that. So you can play with it, play with it, click on enter, see what works, what doesn't work. See if I put a seven days and I save, it will give me all of them because they are pretty new. So all of them because they are pretty new. So I recommend play with it. Play with it. You know where to do it now. Don't be afraid to try it. You can always go back. You can just erase this part. And uh, that's it. It will just go back to what it was before. So don't worry about that. Play with it, see how it works. I, hopefully it helps. If you're very confused and need professional help to help you set up your Jira, define Agile offer that. We can uh, go and remotely set up everything you need. So it's all for you. You don't have to worry about any of that. If you're interested, go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation, and I'll be happy to help you. It was Anatoly from Define Agile. Please subscribe to this channel because I'm using those videos very often. I need your support and I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much and see you next one. Bye-bye.